ladies and gentlemen, we are now making our final approach into the new Istanbul airport. Istanbul airport is one of the largest airports in the world. But in this video, I will guide you through how easy it is to do a transfer. So you don't have to worry about your connecting flight, even if you have a short connection flight. The new Istanbul airport is huge, can be overwhelming. But they have made it very easy for us passengers to comprehend the layout of the airport. So let's take a quick look at the layout of the airport. And let me say this straight away. This is very important. Your connecting flight experience is more or less determined by which gate you arrive and depart from. Let's start with the main area. This right here is the main area of the airport. This is where you find the shops and restaurants. And this right here is the middle of the airport. Every transfer international connecting flight you will end up medium of the airport you will come up the escalator look on the yellow now come up this escalator here or this escalator on the same time when you come up the escalator first thing you will see on your left side here is a big monitor screen monitor showing all the flights okay so let's do this let's take a quick look of the standard transit route like I said, this is main area and this is the medium of the airport. Then we have one escalator here, one escalator here. This is the point where you will arrive from when you have to go transit. You will end up here anyway. So then we have gate A, B, C, D, E and F. So on my trip so far through Istanbul airport has been more or less like this. I arrive here F15 and my departure flight in one, on one flight was from B15 around here. Okay, So your transit route will be like this. You will just walk down until this area. You will take the escalator down one floor. Here you just walk straight until you find the first open security checkpoint you then walk in and through the security check after the security check you turn just follow the signs turn around and you will come up this escalator or this one and you are in the medium of the airport again from there you just go straight here you take the escalator one floor down and you just walk out to the b15 the gaze is B2, B4, something like that, and 6. You will see them on your both on the both sides. You will have the gates on your left side and the right side. If you have, it's, it's, it's going to be the same. If you have a transfer F to A, your route is going to be pretty much the same. You walk down, escalator down through the security, up the escalator, go straight down the escalator, and you walk out on the concourse A. If you arrive at the gate A, here, connecting flight is departing from the B15. It's the same. You will have to go through this area. So your connect, your route will then be, you walk down here, take the escalator down through the security and up the escalator, look the screen, and then you walk out and out to the B15. So to do a connecting flight in Istanbul, you have to go through this area. And it's, it's easy. And to give you some idea of the distance and time, I'm going to show you a easy layout on the time. It's more or less like this. Here we have 12 minutes. From this one about 6 minutes and this one about 12 minutes. Total of 30 minutes. Okay. The only thing you need to add to this is, of course, the security check. For my experience so far, it's taken me from 5 to 15 minutes. So you just add this to the total. You will do a transit on 35, 45 minutes.
If you have less than 90 minutes to your connecting flights, you are liable to use this short connection in Istanbul airport. Let's take a short view on the short connection. I already made a video about the short connection in Istanbul. I'm gonna link it up in the right corner and I will also link it link to it in the description down below but i can show you very shortly show you how the short connection work the short connection is for passengers with less than 90 minutes remember that so a b c d e f that's the gate the main area is still here but we ain't gonna talk so much about the main area this time so let's the short connection is made more or less on this concept on every gate they have made a fast track security checkpoint they have for example they have one fast track security checkpoint here i think they have one here they have one here and one around here one here one here i think it's about two or three fast track security checkpoint how many there are ain't that important you will find the first one by follow the signs so let me show you very quickly using the same flight i used earlier in this video my plane arrive here all right and the plane is departure from here b15 and f15 so my transfer will be like this this is the fast track security check so i will then go into the security checkpoint after security check i will take the lift down one floor from here i will just walk out to this area here you will take the escalator up to the main area of the airport passing all the restaurants and the shops come out here then you take the escalator down one floor and you go out to the b15 so as you can see you don't save the short connection is not that short in terms of distance but you will save yourself the hustle from this point go into the security checkpoint you will have a fast track security checkpoint that will save you some time but if you're flying just to show you why your transit experience is depending on your arrival and departure gate for example if you arrive at this gate and here is the fast track security checkpoint you will then come out from the plane into security checkpoint take one take the lift one floor down go out to the b15 that is a huge time saver when you don't have to come in to this area that is short connection explained very very quickly that was the new istanbul airport complete transit guide see you in the next one